All right, today on Jill of All Trades, we're making brownies. We are making fantastic brownies, and they're from scratch. They're super easy to throw together, and they're gluten-free, which is kind of cool. It's something that we need in our house. So you start with a cup and a quarter of sugar, and I'll have the recipe on the website for you. Three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. I actually use half regular cocoa powder and half uh, extra dark. And then a half cup of all-purpose gluten-free flour that I'm putting in. Uh, baking soda, sea salt, and cornstarch. Again, I'll have those amounts for you in the recipe online. And also this recipe calls for xanthan gum, which I don't have, I don't even know what that is, but a good substitute is ground chia seed. So you can either grind up some chia seeds in a blender or a food processor, or do what I did this morning, which is just pour some in a little uh, sandwich bag and go over it with a rolling pin and that'll grind them up enough. So we have a quarter teaspoon of that. I'm gonna whisk those all together. Super simple. And then we're gonna make a little well in the bottom. All right, so now that we have our well in the dry ingredients, we're gonna take two eggs. I like the extra large or the jumbos. And we're gonna crack those in. And then we're also gonna add the rest of our wet ingredients. So I've got four tablespoons of butter melted. That's going in, or mostly melted. I've got a third of a cup of oil. I use olive oil. The recipe calls for avocado or canola oil, but I really like to bake with a good olive oil. It gives everything a really nice texture. And then vanilla extract. I use vanilla bean paste. It gives you even a little more flavor than regular extract. And last, two tablespoons of water. So now we've got our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients, and we're gonna mix that all together if you wanted to put in some walnuts or something like that, or I'm gonna do just a half a cup of uh, mini chocolate chips because that makes them extra fudgy and that's the way I like them. So we'll stir those in and then we are ready to put them in the pan. At the very least, you want to um, grease the pan or oil the pan. I just use olive oil spray. Instead of flouring it because uh, it'll get that kind of whitish haze on something chocolate. I flour the sides of the pan with cocoa. I use a little hand strainer and just pour the cocoa in it. And then just kind of shake that. I've got my sides floured, but it's really cocoa. And then I'm gonna take a little piece of parchment paper. You don't have to, you could grease the bottom and cocoa that as well. But just to make them a little easier to get out, I'll put my parchment in, super simple. It's nice and thick. You can see it's super dark. And it's gonna look like it's not enough, but we're gonna spread it around and it'll be great. All right, time for us to pop them in the oven. Here we go, oven's at 325 degrees. We're gonna put these in for about 22 minutes. That's what the recipe calls for. Because I put chocolate chips in there, it might take a couple minutes longer. We'll have to wait and see. All right, time to take the brownies out. I will say this recipe was supposed to take 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, it took closer to 45 minutes, but there you can see. They're beautiful. Time for us to cut them and pop one out of there. I'm gonna test it. Yeah, that looks good. Oh my gosh, they are very, very fudgy. Still kind of hot too. There you have it, amazing gluten-free brownies on Show of All Trades.